some artists have gone above what we ever expected them to do. They've done astonishing projects. I'm Jill Krause and I'm a collector. My husband and I commission artists to do projects outdoors on our property in Dutchess County. When you live in a New York apartment, it's sort of hard to collect sculpture. And that was, that, that was really the thing that was the most interesting to us. Many of the artists that we uh, first started to talk to were young artists who had never worked outside. They had never worked in the materials that you need to work in outside. And it never worked in the scale to compete against trees that are 100 feet high. Yepa's piece is a mirrored maze, and what we really loved about this space for it was the fact that it was circular and reflected nature, so it became invisible in the landscape. The landscape architect for the property is Michael Van Volkenberg. His idea was to make these light rooms in the woods where he would take all the small plants, remove them, and leave a hole in the canopy so that light could come in to shine on the sculpture. Well, I've always been interested in art. I went to art school and got my BFA and my MFA. It just seemed natural for me to be involved with artists. We've been collecting since we first got married. We had pretty much no money and we started buying prints and drawings initially. We bought what we liked. We've never used an art advisor. We always do it ourselves. We have to um, both agree on something. And so that's, that's how we collect. Everybody thinks of Saul's work as being cubes and uh, not spheres when it comes to his outdoor work. This really made it sort of a special thing. Tatiana Trouvé found this site, which is sort of like an island. She felt that this was the perfect place for her. After the first install, what she realized was this is a world that someone lived in here. The person is called the guardian. You'll see the remnants of his life. They're all cast in bronze and they're all permanent. This is not a big muscular piece. It's huge in scale, but intimate at the same time. She's been installing for like five years and she in intends to continue to install throughout her career. What we've learned over time is that working with an artist is a dialogue. Monica was um, quite different than many of the artists that we had worked with. Monica had done work outside. The uh, staircase constantly shows up in her work, but this one became a tree. Oscar wanted to build this piece between two live trees. The tree that was here was dead. So he found a tree down the road, cut it down, and planted it in the cement. This was actually cast in situ. This was sort of a collaboration between the architect and the artist because the house had to become the screen for Doug's project. He shot footage from the site of the house before the house was built in all four seasons. And the idea was to then project onto the house those images so that the house disappears. 
The biggest challenge is nature, hands down. You've got to be prepared for this being a lifetime of taking care of a piece of art. It's like a child. <laughs>